I'm gonna skip the privacy tips that everyone already knows, like turning off Siri and Notification Center on the lock screen. I'm also gonna remind you that privacy comes at the cost of convenience. So these aren't things most people should be doing most of the time. Just when you're dealing with data that's particularly sensitive or you think you're being specifically targeted. Cool? Cool. iMessage is end-to-end -end encrypted. Text messages are not. So if you wanna prevent a private iMessage from unintentionally going out as an insecure text message, go to settings, messages, and turn off send as SMS. For most people, losing their precious messages and photo memories is a bigger risk and worse outcome than someone hacking them or having them subject to government seizure. But if you absolutely can't risk anyone ever seeing their contents, go to Settings, Apple ID, iCloud, and turn off messages, photos, and any other backups that you wanna prevent. Getting things off of the cloud prevents your information from being taken from a second remote location. To prevent it being taken from your device, anytime you think you're at risk, squeeze the power and either volume button to put your phone in lockdown and make sure you've gone into settings, passcode, and turned on erase data after 10 failed passcode attempts. Google pays Firefox and Apple to be the default search engine and it's legit the best search engine. But if you want a privacy centric search engine, go to settings Safari search engine and switch it to DuckDuckGo. If you value privacy over relevancy, go to settings, privacy, advertising and toggle limit ad tracking on. A while back, Apple banned advertisers from using your device ID to track you and gave them a non-device bound, non-permanent ad identifier instead. You can't turn it off, but while you're in settings, privacy, advertising, you can reset it as often as you like. When your iPhone tells you to leave now for home or work or wherever to make it on time, it's because it's learned where and when you typically go over time. It's end-to-end -end encrypted and Apple can't read it, but if you hate even the idea of it and are willing to give up on the convenience, go to settings, privacy, location services, system services, significant locations, and just shut it down. Live photos actually record a few seconds of video and audio. iPhone 11's capture outside of frame can reveal what's just outside your photo. Using your photos as a screensaver on Apple TV can slideshow your private snaps to your family and friends in a very public way. If you have any concerns, you can turn off live photos with the tap of an icon, capture outside of frame with a toggle in settings, and just leave your screensavers set to default. Yeah, this one is super hard, but there's no point locking down your privacy only to turn around and let Google and Facebook suck up all of your data. Uninstalling the apps, logging out on the web, using something like OneBlocker to prevent social widget trackers from loading, or Guardian VPN to prevent social SDKs from firing within other apps. And yeah, avoiding location-based gaming are all options to consider. Apple is offering more and more privacy-centric options, like giving apps location permission once or allowing access to only one photo at a time, but it's still easy to set and forget permissions. So tell Siri to remind you to check permissions once a month, once a week even, and then go through your iPhone, Twitter, Facebook, Google, all your permissions and turn off anything you no longer want or need. Thanks for watching. Check out standard.tv slash vector to get your pins, your stickers, your shirts in time for the holidays and see you next video.